Hey, it is your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. And we're zooming in and focusing in on a great viewer question. And that was the whole concept, the whole idea that they have not been listened to. Um, that they realize through all in all, through this narcissistic relationship, um, you know, relationship with this individual that they never felt listened to. And that was part of the whole problem. And so we're really going to slice and dice and really dissect this concept um, right here and now and how important it is, no matter what stage in your life it is to be listened to, but also to have what I'm calling active listening to yourself. And this is really part of the problem, especially if you've been with this individual for some time or have had this type of individual as a family member or as someone who has been um, a worker in your organization, a boss, a colleague, a owner, etc. No matter what title, if you have not had the experience of being listened to, then you are not going to be heard. It's like the old age adage, you know, the old adage, um, you know, if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to listen to it, is there a sound? Um, you know, and basically the answer is no, because if there are is not an ear to receive the vibrations of that big tree falling, then there is no sound. I mean, there 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 is no receiver to validate that sound. So do you see what I'm saying? There has to be a sender of the vibration and there has to be a receiver. So if you have not felt or been listened to, well, no wonder then you have not valid, been felt validated. You have not been felt recognized, acknowledged, or validated for your reality, for your words, for your experience, your energy in motion, your life, um, what you've seen, felt, heard, and known. Um, if you can't have that validated, no wonder the core of you does not feel validated and you feel less than human. You feel less than whole. You feel less than I am. You feel dehumanized. You feel like you have am amnesia that you can't remember who you are or what you want. The viewers who have said, I don't know what I want, is because if no one has actively listened to you, then you're not going to be validated. You're not going to know who you are. But see, now we need to turn it around and really engage in what I call active listening to the self. So if you've now found yourself in a relationship where, or a stage in your life where you're kind of feeling like you have done an inordinate amount of suffering or struggling in relationships and you're sick of it, you're done, it is time to engage in some active listening for yourself. In other words, like the Rosen method, you know, and put your hands on your body and just learn to receive the messages that are coming from within. And, you know, you can tap into that inner voice that will truly guide you to what you need. So in other words, if you put your hand on your stomach and what is that, what does that little message tell you? Do you hear something? Do you feel something? Does it make you want to sob? Does it make you want to cry? Um, does it make you want to just be still and just be? Does it make you feel excited? Do you feel butterflies coming out from underneath your hand? Like, I can barely contain myself. Your hand can listen. Your hand can receive the messages. And you can actively listen. That's a good way to begin to actively listen to what's going on underneath the surface. Um and to get more in touch and in tune with yourself and more connected to yourself and really engage in self-reflection. And you need to do that to visualize and manifest. You need to visualize to materialize this in your life. You need to get in touch with that. And so you need to be listened to and listen to yourself and participate in active listening to yourself, which is really what you do when you go on your recovery day. You enter into a state of receptivity, of openness, of doing that pattern interrupt that we've talked about, the routine that, you know, over and over and over again, you're not getting anywhere. You give yourself a chance to pattern interrupt, 
to disrupt the routine, to disrupt the usual emotional responses that you enter into. You know, every Sunday I feel this, every Saturday, every Friday, every Monday, da, 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 da. I mean, and it's, you're not getting to the next level. You're not feeling happier. You're not in tune with yourself. You're feeling like up and down way too much. Well, yeah, you do have to throw things out of balance to obtain a new higher balance. So you are going to have some seesaw in your life, but you kind of want to get that seesaw. If you've been in a plateau, you want to kind of throw your body out of balance for a little bit, you know, push it into the recovery date, push it into the moments, take time to do yoga, take time to do meditation, take time to do your creative work, take time to do your feel work, you know, get in touch with yourself and actively listen to yourself. And then it'll speak up and then you'll be like, I knew you were in there, little voice. You know, oh wow, I've been hiding, I've been hiding, I've been hiding. Write it down. What does your body tell you? You need to have that pen and paper, your recovery notebook to jot these feelings down. I have been procrastinating on going out to lunch with friends. You know, you might, you know, or if you put your hand on your shoulder and do this, give yourself a pat on the back and actively listen to that. What does that say? I need that. I deserve that. I want that. What does your area of your body tell you? In fact, part of your um, your recovery uh, journal and scheduling in your moments, your dates and times for reflection, if you don't block some time out for yourself, I don't know how you're going to get anywhere. I, if you don't make a plan, you know, if you, you plan to fail. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So you need to begin to plan. Peace and harmony, I've never done this before. Okay, great. Now's the time for something new. You need to do something disruptive to get somewhere. You need to take some radical action. Okay, great. This is very uncomfortable. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear you're uncomfortable because you're scheduling some things for yourself. Amen. Can I get an amen, sister and brother? That is what you need to do. You are uncomfortable. You need to do, you know, something a little bit different. You know, use this time to write down what you are feeling. You know, you put your hand here. I've been procrastinating on going out, you know, for a golf with the guys. I've been procrastinating going fishing. Um, I've been procrastinating working on and getting those tools. Hey, wow, I didn't know I had that voice in there. Hey, wow, I didn't know I had that desire. Hey, wow, I didn't know I wanted to do that. You go running over to your recovery journal. I just found out, you know, I want to pursue this. I want more of this. I love this. You start writing down like a maniac. I didn't know I had these feelings. So use a little bit of this active listening to yourself. If you have felt like you have not been listened to, then engage in some reflective you know, self-listening, listening to yourself, and then get that inner voice out. The inner voice is in there. You know, give yourself a hug like this. What does that feel like? What does that sound like? I really need that. I really want that. I can, I can take care of myself. I've got me better than anybody else has got me. Those are my affirmations. I didn't know that that voice was in there, but you need to arrive at that inner voice by doing some active reflective listening and try putting your hand on areas of your body and closing your eyes and just listening. What does it say? You put your hand on your legs. What does it say? Write it down. If it's giving you some action, like I really need to, I would really love to, I want, jot it down, schedule it, hold yourself open to the book. I'm supposed to be going to the hardware store right now. I'm supposed to be going to the, you know, the gym right now. I'm supposed to be going to the spa right now. I'm supposed to be going to my meditation mat right now. I'm supposed to be doing my yoga meditation right now. Keep yourself going. And even if you say, I've never done this before. I've never done biking. I've never done hiking. I've never been done traveling. I haven't scheduled this. You know, I've never meditated. Well, get some loose fitted clothing. Get yourself a quiet space. Get yourself some music and get yourself a candle. A, B, C, D, E. That's all you need. It is not that difficult. Engage in some active listening of yourself and make those profound changes. It is your buddy, Peace and Harmony, with you here today. And I hope that these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe. 
for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.